Hello everyone. If I had to pick one of the most underrated AI tools right now, I'd say it would be perplexity. And most people only scratch the surface of what perplexity can do. But once you realize it's not just for quick answers, that it can actually generate full research reports, analyze complex data, and create customized workspaces and dashboards, it becomes hard to use anything else. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the top five features that make perplexity one of the most powerful AI tools available. So let's dive in. So let's start off with the first feature and that is to set your sources for search. And here it's not just about getting answers, it's about controlling where these answers come from. So you get to choose between just searching across the internet or searching academic papers or social discussions and opinions or finance. And let me show you how this makes a huge difference across your results. So say I'm working on a report about the impact of screen time on teenage sleep. So if I set my search to academic, what this will do is that it then pulls information from journal articles and I'm going to add my top here impact of screen time on teenage sleep and let's look at the results you'll see that it's come back with 20 different sources and you can see that it's used the journal article so if i click on that source it will take me directly to the publication and this is from the national library of medicine and it says screen use and sleep duration quality at 15 years old and then it will give me all the key effects that it has come back with it also gives me the mechanism in. and you can see how academic the response is it talks about the recent trends the mitigation strategy a summary table with the impact overview and again all the major sources here identified and the conclusion. You'll see how it's drawing from academic references like scholarly review from PubMed Central, from Semantic Scholar and so on. Now let's see what happens when I put the exact same prompt which is impact of screen time on teenage sleep but this time I select social for discussions and opinions and I'm going to enter that. Okay and then here you can see that this time the response is all coming from sources such as Reddit, increased screen time linked to insomnia, what exactly is the harm of screen time, so science-based parenting. So here the answer is focusing on information that is coming from these Reddit threads. You can see the response gives us recommendations to limit or avoid screen use, enable night mode. So it's more practical, it's more based on the opinions and the recommendations that were actually in these threads. You can get completely different answers depending on what you want, whether it's academic research, you want practical insights or you want the public opinion. That will help you extract the right type of sources for your search question. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to be looking at is spaces and spaces is actually one of my favorite ways that you can organize and dedicate a space that is focused to a particular topic and I'd say it's a bit similar to chat GPT projects so this is what the spaces interface looks like on perplexity you'll see here you can give your space a title you can add your files you can add your links and you can add your instructions so before we start setting up our space the other thing you can do is you can look at templates for previous spaces that have been created by perplexity themselves and this is always good to give you an idea of how to set something up. So if we go to a brainstorm body, for example, you can see that if I decide to use this template, then now I can select that and it says space is ready to customize. And if I come here and says search with custom instructions, I can actually click on the instructions and see how they've structured their prompt in order for us to set up the space. I want to set up a space for content strategy and AI tool reviews. I'm going to start off by giving this a title and I'm going to call it content creator for Neuralink. And now here, I have the option to add my files and add links and add instructions. So I'm going to start off by adding my three files, the captions, the tone guide and the content ideas. Now you can see that these have been added as my content files. So it's searching three sources. Okay. And then if I click on searching three sources, I can also add my custom instructions here. And what you'll notice is that I followed a very similar format to what I showed you in the custom instructions from the previous template. So I've added here the role and the specific deliverables that I wanted to achieve. And then I'm going to say, that. We've now got our custom instructions, we've got our files. Now what you can do here is you can add links, you can add your domain, you can add specific websites that you wanted to extract information from. And once we've added all that information, so now I can start off with my first task and I can say, based on my tone guide and captions, give me a sharp tagline, a three line bio and a one sentence elevator pitch for NeuroWorks. And then I'm going to enter that. Okay, as so you can see, it's come back with the information. Okay, so now I can add a follow up prompt that says create a 30 day Instagram and YouTube short content plan using my uploaded ideas. I've also asked it here to take advantage of perplexities, search capabilities by reviewing the latest trends and top performing posts in my industry and from the last 30 days and use them to guide the content topic. So I'm going to enter that. It's now come back with the response. And what you can see is that it's used various sources as well as my uploaded documents. And this is what makes space is really powerful and it's come back with a 30-day Instagram and YouTube shorts content plan. It's first researched the different trends guiding this plan. And you can 
see I can find the sources to these trends and then based on that it's come back with a full content calendar for 30 days it's got the title of the post it's got the caption it's got the format that I should use and the goal that it will serve and then not only that but at the end here it tells me the angles and formats that are gaining traction so what I love about this is that it's now using my project ideas it's using my background but also integrating the external aspect of doing research to bring back the best results that are trending out there and this feature perplexity I think can really elevate the way you work okay so for this next feature we're going to be looking at perplexity's file upload and what you can do here is upload your own personal files it could be a 20 page report research paper a data set or any of your own documents and then you can use that to compare it with external sources so let me show you one of my favorite ways to use perplexity's file upload and their web search feature so i'm going to start here by uploading a csv file and this is about social media study habits and then once i've uploaded that i'm going to add my prompt here which says i've uploaded a data set of the average daily social media use, weekly study hours, GPA and primary platform. And then I've asked it for specific outcomes like data analysis, where it has to analyze correlations and patterns. And then I've asked it to give me an external literature comparison using different sources. And I'm going to enter that. Here you can see that it starts to process the attachments, the file that I've uploaded, and in this case, my CSV file. Okay. And then you can see very quickly here, it comes back with the data findings from my file. It gives me the correlation, the social media use versus GPA, platform differences. It gives me literature review from 2019 to 2024 and you can see the sources that it's used and I can click on these sources and here it will take me directly to the actual source and I like how it starts off with the supporting evidence first that support my data set and here it gives me the contrasting evidence and the nuances that I need to focus on and then it gives me the platform comparison as I have specified and then practical recommendations all with the relevant sources and then a summary table and then all the references of the key citations and I specified a minimum of 10 sources and you can see it's come back with even more getting it to analyze your own data sets or reports, research papers and combine that with external information and as you can see with the perplexity you're able to get very focused accurate information so how amazing is that so the next feature is a pro feature and something that requires you to upgrade and to have the pro account and this is to conduct deep research on any topic and deep research mode generates really high quality structured research reports complete with section citations detailed breakdown so let me show you the extensive report that it can come back with. So for example, I'm going to start off by adding a prompt here that says, what are the most effective go-to market strategies for early stage AI startups? So I've added the prompt here and we need to activate the deep research button. So we've activated that and we're going to enter that. And you can see that it takes a few minutes to gather the sources and to create the report. It's now come back with the response. It's used a total of 98 different sources. And look at these sources. We've got sources from LinkedIn, sources from YouTube. Look at how diverse it is. And the thing with the perplexity is that it's very clever in terms of coming back with the sources that are relevant to your research question. So if we look at my research question, it was all about the most effective go-to market strategies for early stage AI startups. And so it chose to focus on a variety of business sources, YouTube sources that would give us that latest information and not just academic sources. And then if we look at the actual content, you can see how it's structured it in such an effective way to give us the AI powered customer acquisition, product led growth enhanced by AI, community led growth, freemium models as well. And then all the different sections that I need in my report and an implementation roadmap as well. So if you're anyone who needs to research anything in depth, this mode alone is worth using perplexity for. So the last feature that I want to talk to you about is also one that is part of Perplexity Pro. And this is the labs feature that allows you to create projects from scratch. And I've already done a separate video that goes in depth in terms of how to use Perplexity Labs. But here I just want to give you a general overview of what you can expect from using Perplexity Labs. I'm going to ask it to analyze the impact of AI adoption on labor markets across major sectors between 2010 and 2025. Focus on how automation and AI integration have influenced employment levels, job displacement or creation. And I've asked it here to use extensive data sources to produce visualizations. So then I'm going to enter that. Okay, so if we look at the outcome, you can see it's come back with an extensive report. We've got the executive summary. We've got here one of the visualizations that we've asked it to come back with, showing us the AI impact by sector. And then we've got the AI investment surge and its labor market implications. And then another visualization showing the AI investment versus the job displacements. And then it goes into the sector specific impact analysis that we asked it to conduct, showing all the statistics for the different sectors. And then it moves on to the wage trends 
gains in economic impacts. And here's another visualization with the scale demand evolution. And then integrate sections such as future implications and workforce adaptation and the CSV file. And this is actually really useful because then you can use that to conduct your own data analysis. And if we look at the assets tab, again, you've got all the Python code, all the charts and visualizations and the CSV file that is generated. In the steps, you can look at how it's compiled the information step by step. It also provides you with some relevant images that you can use to support your report as well. So overall, Perplexity Labs conducts some serious in-depth research and comes back with extensive results for anyone looking to do a well-researched, comprehensive report. So I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one.